Hello subscribers, followers, and newcomers. Welcome. It's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your February 2024 mid-month general reading. We're looking at the last half of February and this reading is for our lovely lions, the fire sign of Leo. I hope everyone's doing well. Thanks so much for taking the time to be here. So this reading is for the last half of February for the sign of Leo. And that's if Leo is your sun sign, your rising sign, your moon sign, your Venus sign, or if you're cross-watching for a Leo, it's also relevant. It's a general reading. So of course, it's going to resonate a little differently for everyone. If you know all of your sign placements, sun, moon, or your sign, yeah, your sign placements, sun, moon, rising, Venus, um, watch them all for additional insight and perspective. And if you find that something really does resonate with you and you'd like to take a deeper look at something or you simply like the reading style, uh, if you're interested in a personal reading with me for yourself or as a gift for someone else, please feel free to email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. You can see that contact info connected to the title or description of this video. I would love to hear from you and I can usually get back to you the same day with more information. I do offer a pretty wide variety of readings of all different spreads, types, styles, lengths, costs. Uh, there's something in there for everyone. And still getting a lot of orders right now for the 6 and 12 month overviews, which uh, take a look at what's coming in your life for the next 6 or 12 months in all different areas of your life. You can order them any time of the year. It goes from the time of the reading forward. Uh, but a lot of people, of course, like to do it in the last quarter of a year or the first quarter of a new year because we're starting that new cycle. So uh, something to think about. All right, let's move right into this. I'm using the uh, Deluxe Royal Tarot and Clarifying with the Gilded Tarot, both by artist Ciro Marchetti. So let's see what the last half of February looks like for our Leos. Okay, Leo, we begin with the Ace of Cups. So aces represent the number one. This is an emotional new beginning. Now, for some of you, it might be meeting something, someone new. It might be new love and romance for some of you, the beginning or opportunity on that new emotional path. For others of you, it might be an emotional renewal in an already ex existing situation. But the Ace of Cups, Cups is governed by water, which governs our heart space, our emotional landscape. So this is the beginning, whether it's romantic or whether it's just solo, this is the opportunity to start down a new path um, in search of and something that leads to your emotional fulfillment and abundance with the hermit which makes sense because the hermit the hermit is a card that represents clarity through introspection basically it's taking a step back to kind of check yourself and ask yourself is what I'm doing making me feel emotionally abundant? Do I feel like I'm on the right track here? Is is something good for me? Is continuing to invest in a certain thing, a person, place, situation, is this something that I truly want? Um, or do I need to make decisions to move in a different direction? It looks here like you're contemplating a new path of emotional fulfillment, whether that's just solo on your own, just on a different path, maybe in career or something like that. Or for some of you, it might be pursuing a new opportunity or path in love and romance. Um, and the hermit kind of takes a step back to kind of look at it, um, check himself, what do I really want? What stage am I at in life? What's important to me? What's valuable to me? And making decisions um, based on that. Next, we have <laughs> Judgment, another major arcana card, which also makes sense because Judgment is kind of that fork in the road card, right? It's a card that does typically represent that there's a choice in front of you and a decision needs to be made that you're going to be accountable for. I mean, this is about stepping up and owning your own choices, actions, and decisions uh, because only you are accountable for what you choose and what you don't choose. Uh, the outcome of judgment is typically long lasting, if not final, meaning that whatever choice you make here is probably the one that you'll be uh, stuck with or dealing with for quite some time. So choose wisely, choose carefully. With judgment, we have the Knight of Coins. So knights typically represent offers and opportunities for change because knights you know, they have a mission, a quest, something that needs to be accomplished. And this is the Knight of Coins or Earth, Pentacles, it's the same thing. So this is my steady eddy. This is about kind of putting nose to the grindstone and kind of working 
um, being uh, cautious, careful, but moving towards and putting the work into something you really want. It may be for some of you that um, the choice to move down a different path or take advantage of the opportunity to start down a different path um, of emotional fulfillment to you may require some difficult decisions of you. It may require you to leave a person, people, situations behind in order to do that. This is about really um, making a decision to to basically start down a path that that would really be kind of a game changer or a life path changer for you. Next, we have the Ten of Wands. So tens in the tarot represent cycle endings or conclusion or a coming full circle. Uh, the Ten of Wands represents somebody who's just, they're done. They're kind of at the end of the rope. They're feeling tired. It's a card of heaviness and weariness. You know, I, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to carry this burden anymore. Maybe it only started off as one or two or three wands, but gradually it just became very burdensome, very heavy. And here they're like, that's it. I'm done. I, I don't want to do this anymore. Feeling kind of worn out with the six of coins, which is a card of, of giving and receiving, paying attention to the balance of giving and receiving. So here, Leo, both of these cards, it, it makes sense why you're contemplating, you know, going down a new path, maybe taking advantage of an opportunity or seeking out an opportunity to move in a different direction because you're tired of something. It, it feels like, um, it feels like you've lost your equilibrium in in how you're giving of yourself because you know the six of coins is a card of giving and receiving it's a card of love and charity and help and assistance right but the ten of wands is so heavy and so burdensome this is about needing to find equilibrium in your life needing to find balance have you been giving too much have you not been getting enough to replenish you um, because if we give and give and give and don't get anything back, uh, it becomes, in the long run, impossible to give anymore. This is kind of that check yourself before you wreck yourself um, kind of advice here. Um, if we don't get replenished ourselves, we can't continue to give to other people. And it feels like there's an unevenness here. Um, giving too much here and needing to kind of find a way to regain your balance and your equilibrium. Uh, this whole this whole theme right here, this is a very clear reading, this whole theme right here is, it's about this time period, it's a short time period, we're only looking at the second half of February, but it's a time period about kind of taking a step back and asking yourself, you know, is what I'm investing in good for me anymore? I'm gived out. It feels like some of you may be standing in the bottom of a well in two inches of water and there's just not enough left, right? So it's about kind of going with it and asking yourself, you know, what kind of change do I need? What do I really want? You know, I'm, it feels like I'm giving, giving, and I'm just wearing myself out and not getting anywhere. Now, from the bottom of the deck, the overall energy and focus and theme, which makes sense too, is the Seven of Cups. This is looking at other options and opportunities, kind of daydreaming, fantasizing, building castles in the sky, kind of thinking about what's out there, what the options are, um, and trying to figure out which one would be realistic for you to, to choose, to walk down. So let's clarify a little bit. Let's clarify that overall energy of the Seven of Cups. The Knight of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles. So you're considering different options and opportunities, just kind of playing with things in your head right now about which is the best way, which road is the best road to take. Uh, the Knight of Swords is a card of decisive, assertive action. This is doing your research, gathering all the information, making a decision, and then acting on it. The Ten of Pentacles or the Ten of Coins, the Ten of Earth, this is about long-term security and stability. It feels like... Um, some of you may 
be in a situation of some kind where you're giving, 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 but you don't have that sense of long-term security and stability. Long-term security and stability financially, materially, or emotionally means that enough work has been put in, enough has been set aside that you have enough that you're not worried so much about tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, enough money, enough material resources, enough emotional confidence and stability that you're not worried about it. Here, it feels like you're pouring all your efforts into a, a situation, something, a relationship, you know, I mean, it's a general reading. So what it is may vary with those of you watching, but you're just worn out and it doesn't feel like you're getting enough in return. And you're looking for other options, perhaps other new paths. Some of you may already have a new option in front of you um, that might guarantee um, or be uh, a path that leads to long term security and stability. Let's take a look at that Ace of Cups and the Hermit. Some of you, it might be work and career. Some of you, it might be love and romance, a combination of both of those. Some of you may be considering that it might be best for you to, for the time being, to walk a solo path for a while. The Magician and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, again, this is kind of, what is it do I want to manifest? Do I want to take advantage of an opportunity? What, for those of you that have an opportunity in front of you, and how quickly do I want to move down this road? Because the Magician and the Eight of Wands is about manifesting, you know, deciding what you want, pulling together the resources, and just deciding to do it and moving forward and actually taking action on it. But right here, during this time period, you're contemplating it. Is this good for me? Is this what I really want? Judgment and the Knight of Coins. Not too many cards. Tell me about Judgment and the Knight of Coins. This is Judgment and the Knight of Coins is really about putting your your putting your money where your mouth is. I mean, this is about okay, I need to make a decision, I'm going to make a decision and, and I'm actually going to put the work behind it and move forward in a new direction. <laughs> Seven of Cups, again, just popped out. So, again, it feels like while you may be taking action in the very near future, this time period, it's more like, okay, which direction do I go in? Do I say yes to this? Do I say no to that? Do I make decisions to move away from people, places, and situations in order to pursue this new path? The Hermit, again, the Seven of Pentacles, which is also a card of reflection and assessment. It's taking stock at where, where you put your efforts, what you think those efforts have gotten you back. Does it justify continuing to put efforts into it? What is really good for me? What is going to be good for me, my growth, my abundance, my happiness moving forward? Um, what is the best decision and path for me to take? Ten of Wands, Six of Coins. This is just like I'm tired of giving, feeling so depleted, giving and not getting back enough, over committing. Nine of Cups, which is your heart's desire, and the Two of Swords, being at a crossroads and needing to make a difficult decision, maybe feeling a little bit stuck for the time being. It's, but but again, it's about needing to make a difficult decision. Uh, a decision which may require um, cutting out people or places or situations that won't be in alignment with with where you actually want to be because it feels like you've you've overgiven of yourself you've overextended for yourself and you really need to take a look at not only the part that you've had to play in it but what do you really want and taking responsibility for taking the steps and the action to doing that um, and that's what's kind of coming across loud and clear. It feels like it's a pretty contemplative place, you know, over the last half of February, but it feels like the major decision and action will come and needs to come out of this contemplative thinking about it kind of time. So let's end with uh, advice, guidance, or final messages from Spirit. Here we have that Knight of Pentacles or Knight of Coins again. Slow and steady wins the race. One foot in front of, the, of another. Choose what your goal is. 
set up a plan, set your small goals leading to the big goals, and just get through it step by step by step. This is putting the work in, making the decisions, taking the action, and moving forward. Not doing it in an impulsive, spontaneous way, but in a planned, careful, detail-oriented way. The Ace of Coins, a new beginning. It might be a new job for some of you, moving, relocating, a combination of both of those, uh, new projects. Um, again, it's working towards this new beginning and the eight of swords. Don't tell yourselves that you can't because of this, that, the other thing, you know, sword is governed by the element of air, which governs here, our mind, our intellectual, you know, atmosphere, uh, uh landscape, how we look at things, belief systems, ideologies, uh, here this person you know says oh i can't free myself from a situation i can't make any changes because of it these swords represent something in your mind it's can be either one overall kind of ideology or a lot of different you know reasons excuses justifications that we give ourselves for not making needed changes in our lives because we're afraid we're afraid of the unknown we're afraid of fallout from other people places situations we're afraid and so we tell ourselves well i'm stuck here because of fill in the blank this that and the other thing right um so it's don't do this to yourself it's really about you know, deciding what you want, making a plan, and just moving on that plan, ticking off the boxes when you accomplish them one step at a time, but taking action and not telling yourself, well, I can't because of this, I can't because of that, I can't because of the other thing. So that is your reading. Leo, those are your messages for the last half of February. I hope that they were helpful to you, that they helped clarify or validate something for you or as I often say, gave you something to chew on. Again, if this did resonate with you and you'd like to pull the curtains back and take a deeper look, uh, or you simply like the reading style if you're interested in a personal reading with me for yourself or as a gift for someone else, please feel free to email me directly, Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. You can see that contact info also attached to the description or title of this video. I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the March general readings. And uh, until then, stay well, stay safe. And I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.